everyone I am back with another video this is a tutorial video to show you how I made a larger version of the gift card holders that I made a couple of years back this was requested by um, a fellow crafter over in Israel um, I guess their tradition is to give a gift check for weddings and things so she wanted me to come up with a gift card holder that would hold the gift check instead so all I did was take the original design that I did which I did not create so in that video I did link the original creator to that project um, but all I did was just mess with the measurements she gave me the measurements for the check size and then I just kind of took it from there. The assembly is the exact same, the measurements are going to be different. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this. I just have some ribbon here as a little belly band. So when you open it up, it opens the exact same way and then the little you can put the little gift check right here. This will actually hold a US version of a gift check or if you've got like a printed gift certificate or something this measures um, six and a quarter by two and seven eighths so you can kind of play with it a little bit you still have a little bit of room if it was a little bit taller or whatnot so I'm gonna show you guys how I made this the paper pad that I got those papers from is a recollections 12 by 12 paper pad set that I got a couple of years ago have this kind of zoomed in a little bit so I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing so it's just called patty whack super cute prints in here there's lots of um, blues and yellows and pinks so just to kind of flip through some of them so I'm going to make a pink version um, with some papers out of that same stack so what you need to do is you need to have a piece of cardstock. Um, I'm using an eight and a half by eleven that I cut down to seven and one eighth by ten and a half. So on your ten and a half inch side here, we're going to do some scoring. We're going to score at three, four, five. And then we're going to score at eight and three eighths. So that takes care of all of our scoring. So folding, you're just going to fold down your little top flap here. So that takes care of that. Now this middle section here is where the gift check is going to go. So we're going to fold up on this top score line here. Then we're going to fold down on the second score line. Kind of crease that. Then we're going to fold up again on the bottom score line here and just crease that so you should have something that looks like this and then this will be open and there's this and then once we glue this together on the bottom this is going to create our little holder so what we're going to do is this little flap here that we created, we're going to put some score tape and I'm just using a 1 8 inch scrappy tape and I'm going to put it, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, I'm going to put it on the side and then right along the bottom. I don't want it to take up too much space so that way you can get the gift check or um, little gift certificate or whatever down inside there. So I'm just going to put a couple little pieces. You could use quarter inch if you really want to. I just like using this eighth inch. 
so it doesn't take up much space. You could use Tombow glue for this, the red liner tape for this, something strong because you're not going to want it to come off. And then we'll just fold this right back down on itself again. Just kind of press it down. And then there the bottom is stuck together. So now with this little flap here, we're going to cut an eighth of an inch off of it. So I'm just going to pull my cutter out. And line it up so it's about this ends up being about six and it's not it's just over six and a quarter so one two three four five six seven eight nine it's about <laughs> Six and nine sixteenths. So I'm going to actually move it over an eighth of an inch. It's kind of an odd measurement. And I'm just going to slice that little piece off here. You can eyeball this totally, but I do about an eighth of an inch. So that gives me the opening for my little gift check or gift certificate or whatever you want to insert here. Um, you could lay just cash in here. Um, kind of a cute way to open it up and have it pop up. Okay, so here are the pieces I have already pre-cut. These are the outside pieces, which we will do in a minute. So let's do the inside pieces first. Now, I picked out two patterns for the inside. One for my base, and then um, another pattern for my little strips here. So I picked out three coordinating um, patterned papers. So if you want to keep that in mind, um, I used three different ones. So the measurement for the top piece here is 7 by 2 inches. So we're just going to go ahead and attach that. And that's basically all the rest of this is, is just attaching the papers and then making the little belly band. And you don't have to do a belly band if you don't want to. You could use a piece of Velcro or you could use a magnet or something to keep it closed. Um, whatever you choose to do as a closure because it will pop open. So there's that piece. Now our middle piece here measures seven by three and a quarter. And I'll just center that one here. like so. And then the bottom one here measures 7 by 2 and 7 eighths. And you could totally mix it up and do a, a different pattern for each section. You could do kind of just plain papers or very subtle prints and do some stamping inside of it. It's all kind of how you want to decorate it. I tend to like the patterned papers because they're pretty. Okay, so there we have those pieces. Now we're going to do our little strips here, which measure seven by three quarters of an inch. And you're going to want to cut two of those. This little pattern here with these little sunbursts is not really a directional pattern, so I'm not going to worry too much about which way it's going. But if you have a directional print, 
You're going to want to make sure that you don't put it upside down. And same is going to go for the outside of this, which I will show you in just a moment. Let's get these down. Okay. So there we have that. And then our little gift check, our faux gift check here, will fit right inside. Like I said, there's about, I want to say, almost a quarter of an inch room. Yeah, it's a quarter of an inch from the check to the top, which I like a little bit of space anyway. Like when I have when I'm putting cards into an envelope and stuff, I like having a little bit of extra space. So there's the inside. Now we're going to do the outside. So the front flap is the same as the inside flap. It's going to be seven by two. I'm going to put this little piece on here. Or you could totally do the same print all over the entire thing. I like to just mix it up a little bit. So again, it's all personal preference. And this is a directional piece with a little heart. So I'm going to make sure that I've got that going up and down. So there we have that. Now we're going to do this bottom flap here which I have the same paper, and this is 7 by 2 and 7 eighths, just like the inside flap here. So then we'll just stick this one right here on the bottom. just like that and since my paper is directional I'm going to take my little wallet gift wallet I guess I'm going to flip it over so that way when I do the back side my pattern is not going to be upside down so that's what you have to pay attention to if you've got a directional pattern <clears throat> is that it doesn't end up upside down on the back I think I did that once on one of the small ones. And of course I wasn't going to leave it so I redid the whole thing because I tried to pull it up and it kind of tore. So, And this paper is a little thinner. It's not quite cardstock thick. Some of the 12 by 12 pads have thinner papers. So you want to be careful. When you stick it down it's kind of done. There we have that. I'm just going to go over it with my bone folder real quick. So there we have the little gift check, gift certificate holder. So all I did to create my belly band is I have some of this old Stampin' Up! ribbon. And I kind of wanted to use it because I like the polka dots. So I just took it like this and I just wrapped it around and then I'm going to just kind of eyeball <clears throat> a little cut right here and I'm going to even out this end here and cut just between those little scallops so not very tightly Kind of loosely, I'm just going to attach this ribbon. So I'm going to use, these are ultra thin 3 8 inch, so they're one centimeter, um, glue dots. It's a bigger glue dot. 
and I love them for bigger things. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Is it going to show up? I know it's on there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it's right there. It's a larger one. I like it. Especially for things like this. So I'm just going to put it on the end of my ribbon here. And it sticks really well to this ribbon. So there we go. So now I'm going to make sure that my ribbon is even here. And I'm not going to pull real tight. I'm just going to lay it on top of this one. So that way it'll be easy to slide on and off. And then I'm going to center my little um, point here where it overlaps. Connecting point. And this one I put a little black heart with some faux stitching. So this one I'm actually going to do a blue heart on. So I just pulled out some blue Recollections paper and my Sweetheart Punch from Stampin' Up. So I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> Man, I've got a frog in my throat today. Just going to punch that out. And let's see. I think I'm going to do um, a pink stitch line. Let's see what that looks like. This is a Melon Mambo um, Stampin' Right marker. So I just want to see if it's going to look okay. If not, we're going to redo it. So bear with me for a second. I didn't pre-plan this part. I thought I was ready. It might be okay. I'm not really used to faux stitching in a different color other than white, but um, I think it might look alright. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's not too bad. So we're going to do that. I didn't have a blue that quite matched this one, so I'm going to go with what I have. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to match everything exactly. So I'm just going to take this heart and like right in the center of the heart, I'm going to put another one of those glue dots, one of the thicker ones. And then I'm just going to attach it to the ribbon here. And that way, like this one's been on here for a little while and it's, it hasn't come off. So I'm thinking it's going to be totally fine. So there we have the little gift card holder. Um, or gift check, gift certificate, that kind of thing. Gift cards, I guess you could put two by side by side maybe if you really wanted to do that. Um, here's the other one. So that's the inside. Uh, we'll try to slide this band back on. It was giving me some issues yesterday. I think I made this one just a little bit tight. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. So there you have it. Two little gift check holders. I don't know what I'm going to do with these now. I'm going to have to find something to do with these. Um, so yeah, there you go. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. If this is useful or helpful to you, um, let me know that in the comments below. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed another tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.